What is going on, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global here back with another video. And in this one, we got some free agency news here for the New England Patriots, y'all. Super excited. We are less than a week away from the start of the new league year, free agency. Let's also remember that Monday, just a couple of days, starts the legal tampering period where teams can start talking to free agents. So, boys, we are right around the bend from the Patriots taking a big leap compared to what we saw in the 2020 season. But in this one, we are hearing that the Patriots are expected to target defensive end Danico Autry in free agency. And this is per Jim Aiello. I don't know if I'm saying that last name right, but I believe I am. It, of course, is also worth noting that the New England Patriots are not the only team that is expected to target him in free agency. I've heard the Colts could potentially try to re-sign him. I've also heard that teams put, or teams who are supposed to also target him, other than the Patriots, um, are the Jets, the Ravens, the Bills, and the Panthers. So it does sound like he's going to have a little bit of a market. Now, we already know that the New England Patriots are expected to heavily upgrade the defensive line. That is one of their big goals besides adding pass catchers. And Audrey could definitely be a target for the New England Patriots to start upgrading that defensive line. 30 years old, so look, he isn't going to be a youngster who is in his prime, has the rest of his years ahead of him. He is older, but he's a veteran. I think the great thing about that is that you're going to have a leader on the defensive line, someone who on the defensive line knows what he's doing, can help the younger guys, because when I look at this D-line, it is filled with a lot of young players. Adam Butler's still pretty young. You have Chase Winovich, Josh Uche. Even Anthony Jennings sometimes, who's on the defensive line. You have, I mean, Byron Cowart, so many young guys on this defensive line. You need a leader. And with Lawrence Guy potentially leaving, a veteran is going to be key for the Patriots to add. He brings a really nice build for a defensive end at 6'6", six six, 265 pounds. Now, Audrey definitely is not going to be the number one defensive player on, uh, you know, team's list to target in free agency, whether that's defensive line, defense in general, or just overall team targets. In fact, a lot of people don't even know who Audrey is, so you don't really have to worry about that name factor coming in here as someone like a J.J. Watt would. He is coming off a season in which he recorded seven and a half sacks, 10 quarterback hits, and nine tackles for loss, and those stats don't necessarily jump off of the sheet, but he does bring a lot of versatility, which I think is a big reason why Belichick would like him. You've seen him mainly at the defensive end position, but he does have the ability to play in the interior, which is something that I think Bill would really like. That's something that we've seen the Patriots do a lot with, with like a Dietrich Wise, someone who's able to play at defensive end, but they can also plug in the middle if they want. Now, for the Colts in their weekend uh, I believe it was a wild card game against the Bills, in which they, of course, they lost. Uh, he was one of the team's best players. So it is also worth noting that he does have postseason experience, if that's something that, you know, is important to you. He recorded a half or one and a half sacks in that game, along with two and a half tackles for a loss uh, and four total tackles. Now, he is someone that will come in and help the Patriots out tremendously at stopping the run. That's really his his best part of his game. Now, he's versatile not only where he can play on the defensive line, but in his ability to both stop the run and apply pressure both on the edge and the inside. But I would say what he's overall better at, what he's more consistent at, is stopping the run. And when you look at the Patriots' struggles this past season and, and even years prior to the 2020 season, the Patriots have had tremendous issues at stopping the run. And it is a big reason why the defense just kept getting pummeled over in 2020 and a big reason why teams just consistently were beating the Patriots. Getting guys, defensive players, who are going to be able to help stop the run is going to be insanely important, but it seems like it's more important to get defensive ends who are able to stop the run because, more specifically, that is the position in which the Patriots haven't found success. Guys on the edge who can stop the run. You have guys like Chase Winovich and Josh Uche who are really good at rushing the passer, but they haven't proven just yet that they can be that, you know, two elite factor in also stopping the run. 
One thing I will say about Tanico Autry, and this is something that I talked to some of my Colts um, buddies about because obviously they report on him. They've they've been with him for the past three seasons, so they know what to expect from him. And they said he's a great player that they would love to have him back. But one of the big problems is that they would like to upgrade from Danico Autry and get someone who's more consistent. With Danico Autry, you don't necessarily know what you're going to get. His first season with Indy in 2018, he put up a career high of nine sacks. He did all of that in just 12 games. He also had one pass defended, two forced fumbles, a total of 37 tackles, 13 tackles for loss, and 11 quarterback hits. Then the following year with Indy in 2019, he played in 14 games, so two more than in 2018, and he only put up three and a half sacks, four passes defended, one forced fumble, 32 total tackles, four tackles uh, for loss compared to the 13 in 2018, and 11 quarterback hits. So definitely a significant drop off there. Now, then in 2020, he took another step forward. And this is where they added DeForest Buckner, who really seemed to help a guy like Danico Autry out. In 2020, like I said, this past season, he appeared in 14 games, seven and a half sacks, 33 total tackles, thir- or nine tackles for loss and 10 quarterback hits. Ultimately, what I got from this and what I got from talking to some of my Colts buddies was the fact that just adding Danico Autry is not going to be the do-it-all move for the Patriots, right? You are going to get a good player in Danico Autry. He's 100% going to put up at least a few sacks for you, but depending on the the surrounding cast for him along that defensive line is very telling on how he's going to perform. If the Patriots don't really have much guys outside of D'Amico Autry, then he's probably going to struggle a little bit more. But if they can get guys next to him who can help him out, who can also get pressure on the quarterback and can take some of that pressure off of D'Amico Autry, then he will put up a lot more production. So basically what I mean by that is, let's say the Patriots went out and they got Shelby Harris, the defensive tackle, and D'Amico Autry. I think that he would perform much better with that cast than, let's say, he would with if it was just D'Amico Autry and, let's say, a Byron Coward. As for what a potential contract could look like, I don't expect it to be too much. Like I said, this isn't really a a guy that you've heard the name of. He's 100% going to have a market. As I told you before, several teams are already interested in him. I could see him making somewhere between five to to six million dollars annually. A guy who will have a market who has production, but does have some consistency issues. You don't exactly know what you're going to get out of him 100%. His name isn't, you know, top notch. It's not a Bud Dupree. It's not a JJ Watt. So that's nothing that's going to help him out in his market. And there are definitely going to be guys that are ahead of him. Before we do end this one off, I want to let you guys know about my boys over at BetOnline.ag who are the sponsors of this video, so shout out to them. BetOnline has the fastest and easiest ways to bet on all of your sports action. NFL might be done, but NBA, college basketball, and the NHL are still a full swing. BetOnline even covers awards, TV shows, and reality TV, and they also have real-time updated odds and props on almost anything that you can imagine. BetOnline also has you covered for all of the news, scores, and odds, and it is the best way for you to place your bets and it is completely free to sign up. All you guys got to do is head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and receive your 50% off welcome bonus on your first deposit. Again, BetOnline, your online sportsbook experts. Y'all do not sit on the sidelines anymore. Get in with the action. Don't forget to use that promo code CLNS50 to receive a 50% off welcome bonus on your first deposit. Y'all, the Patriots have interest in pending free agent defensive end D'Amico Autry, or Danico Autry, rather, I'm sorry. Um, what are your guys' thoughts on it? Let me know in the comment section below. Remember to give this video a big, big thumbs up. It would mean the world to me. Helps the channel out tremendously, along with hitting that subscribe button and turning on the bell notifications if you have not done so yet. Like always, I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.